translated into the Greek as Septuagint, the word they used for the Nephilim was gigantes. It sounds like giants, and it turns out they were giants, but that's not what the word means. Gigantes comes from gigas, which means earthborn. So in the Hebrew, they're called the fallen ones. In the Greek, they're called the earthborn. The purpose of the flood was not just that there was sin in the land. There was, that's emphasized. But if, if, if sin brings the flood, we better get some life jackets. No, there's something far deeper going on. That's what I want to sensitize you for when you do your own study and come to your own conclusions. But I want you to recognize there's something much more profound that God has a problem that God was solving. And that is that Satan's strategy was to contaminate the human race. Now that we know who these sons of God were, let's make the connection with the ancient mystery teachings. Nope. Now let's just pause right here once again. And so as we've been um, demonstrating by doing our own homework and by studying and researching this, that n n nowhere does it say that these, um, first of all, they con they're confusing the sons of God who were the children of Seth's line, not the children of Cain's line, not the children of the murderer's line, but the children of the son of Adam's line, they're confusing that mention of the sons of God or the Bane Ha Elohim or the Bene Ha Elohim with Nephilim. Nephilim. The lecturer just then basically was trying to explain that whole Gigantes or Gigantes, which really is another part of the whole Septuagint spin on it. Now, you have to really recognize that because they're going to go on with this. You understand? Calling, confusing really this particular text. But here's a good um, reference and an appropriate reference that we find to be one of the better points of this age of deceit, fallen angels, and new world order, where they basically are pointing to an Ethiopic text. Although they do not give due uh, accreditation to the fact that it is an Ethiopic text and, and the fullness of the text has been only preserved in the Ethiopic and that particular book, the book of Hanok, and this one right here that we've been studying, the Gedla Adam, the Gedla Adam, I think even right here we kind of point to you know, these particular um, documents.